What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. So I figured since we started building this Toyota, I really haven't given my car any love, the old Jetta. So it's mechanically running good, driving good and everything. The body needs some attention. The paint really needs some attention. So today we're gonna do a full buff on it. See if we can get it looking good. And then I also wanna get all the dents pulled out with paintless dent repair. So let's get outside, get the car washed up, and then we'll bring in the shop. Alright guys, this is how the paint is looking right now. So this thing has been completely resprayed, and to me it looks like single stage. We'll have, once we start buffing, we'll know if it's cleared or not. But there it is. This door right here has got quite a bit of scratches, and then there's that big dent right there that I'm gonna have pulled out. And then the trunk has got quite a bit of scratches in it. So I don't have extremely high expectations for this paint, but I think we can definitely make it look better. What we're gonna do first is go around with probably acetone, get all the sap off the hood and the roof, and then we're gonna clay bar it. And then we're gonna grab the buffer and just see, hopefully we don't have to do any sanding. I'm really hoping to just give it a nice buff and call that good. So let's see if we can get the sap off and get it clay barred. All right, we got the car all clayed out. So now we're gonna start the first step of the buff. So I'm gonna be using the Presta. It's called the two-step buff. So first step is the step one compound and a wool pad. The second is a different compound with a foam pad. And then we'll go over it with a dual action buffer with a uh, polishing pad and a polishing compound. So what we're gonna be using right now is a rotary buffer and we'll just go to town we're gonna to start on the hood and see how how uh flat we can get it see if we can get all the water obviously all the water spots and most of the scratches are going to come out there's still some dirt in the paint from when they sprayed it they obviously didn't cut and buff it so we're gonna see if we can get it looking good with just buffing and no sanding at all We got this one section here buffed out with just the first step 
It already looks a little bit better, but there's so much dirt, especially on these panels that are like the hood, roof. There's a lot of dirt in it, so I might hit the hood real quick with 2000 grit, just, on, just hand sand it real quick, get some of the dirt out, and then we'll go through and buff it again. Um, as far as the rest of the car, I'm gonna have to wait and see once I buff it. I did a little bit of buffing on this fender, and there isn't as much dirt. There is still some dirt, but I really don't want to go too far and have to, you know, color sand the entire car. All right guys, this job may take a lot longer than I thought, just because this looks so much better than that. So I just went and hit that real quick with 2000 grit. And you can see it's like kind of like hazy looking. That's just dry spray from when they sprayed it. And with when you sand it and get all that off, it looks so much better. All right, I got the whole hood sanded. I just did a little test patch there just to see how it looked, make sure I sanded enough. You can still see a little bit of orange peel through the sanding, but I'm not too worried about it. That's about and it's still, once it's buffed out, it looks really flat. So I think it'll look good. So I'm gonna go around, get the whole car sanded. So I'm actually going 1500 and then 2000, just cause 2000 took quite a while to get it all flattened out. So 15 knocks it down fairly fast and then 2000 and then we'll buff. So let's get sanding. All right, we are finally done sanding. So a lot of the stuff came out. Some of those scratches are pretty deep, didn't come out. And there's some really, really deep ones on the trunk, which are obviously never gonna come out without repainting it. So we got it close enough anyway. So we're gonna get on the buffer, buff this thing out, get it shining.
right, guys, we're done with the first stage of the buff, and it is coming out a lot better than I thought it was. There's still, you know, some dirt in it, but it's actually got a shine. And by the way, this is a clear coat. It was just in such bad shape. It seriously didn't look like a clear. So very, very happy with how it's coming out so far. So now we got to get the second stage buff and hopefully it doesn't take as long. guys we're done all waxed up looking really really good I'm actually very surprised how well it looks compared to what it was our starting point I really didn't think this thing would shine up this good and actually look like a clear coat so like I said I'm gonna have a paintless dent repair dude come out and pull some of these dents there's not a whole lot of big dents the main one I'm worried about is right here in the door. And then there's just scattered dings around the body. So hopefully he can get most of those out. And a couple in the trunk here. This side really isn't too bad. Just a couple little dings. So if you guys are curious how long this took, it is 4 p.m. right now. I started yesterday morning at like seven o'clock. I worked to about seven, so 12 hours yesterday. So I got most of it. I got the whole thing sanded yesterday and about half of it with the first stage of the buff. And then today I did the last half of the car with the first buff. And then we did a second stage on the buff, a swirl remover, and then a wax. So it took two very long days to get this thing looking like it is. But you guys saw how it started out. The paint was not very nice. It needed a lot of work. So most cars probably wouldn't take this long, especially because you might not have to sand it as much as I did, if at all. Usually you can get away with just buffing. So that is how long it took me anyway. 
So like most of my projects go, I start out with a plan and it never goes as planned. So I was hoping to just buff this thing and not sand it at all, but I'm really, really glad that I sanded it. It turned out amazing. It looks so much better with being sanded, it flattened out. And there was just a lot of dry spray on top of the clear from when they painted it. And that all came out. So it actually has a nice gloss to it now, nice deep look. So very, very happy with how it turned out. If you guys wanna check out any of these products, I'll have everything I use linked down in the description. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.